Good morning. This is the, or afternoon, depending on wherever you are. This is the first in a series called In the Crosshairs with me, Andy Bunch, and today, In the Crosshairs, we have the woke generation. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with PC. Now, PC was a bit of a giggle, really. It was about things like um, Bar Bar Black Sheep being banned in schools and uh, councils renaming Christmas Winterfell to avoid offending certain religions. Think of woke as kind of PC 2.0. The militant wing of PC. <coughs> PC was just a giggle, but woke is actually dangerous. Let me explain why. The woke generation would have us believe that here in 2019, white people hate black people, men hate women, everyone hates homosexuals, and so on. They support very passionately the idea of identity politics, and the problem with this is it's all about emphasising otherness. People identify themselves as LGBT or as uh, women who are oppressed or, and so on. The generation that I inhabited have spent the last 50 years or so doing all the heavy lifting on things like equality and being blind to race and blind to sexual orientation and so on. The woke generation seeks to reverse that. Let me give you an example. David Lemmy, the famous uh, MP and member of the establishment, a highly qualified and highly educated barrister, a black gentleman, recently insulted a white minor celebrity called Stacey Dooley because she'd gone to Uganda, I think, to do charitable work. He called her a white saviour and said, using the work phrase, woke phraseology, stay in your lane. What this exemplifies is, and why this is such a big problem, is that Lammy, even though he is a rich member of the establishment in the UK, thinks that he's better qualified to comment on such things than Stacey Dooley, merely because of the colour of his skin. Now, there was a gentleman a long time ago that uh, I admire called Martin Luther King, and he gave a speech you may have heard about. It was called, I Have a Dream. And he said this, I have a dream that one day in the world, a man will be judged by the quality of his character and not by the color of his skin. We have now arrived at a point where after all of this progress has been made, woke are reversing it. They always want to emphasize otherness. They're telling a generation of young black people growing up that whitey hates them. This is untrue, it's corrosive, and it's damaging. What do you think? See you next time.